On Tuesday, October 6th, Hillers girls soccer took on Westwood. The Hillers won the turf war throughout much of the game and got more shots on net. Megan Conti scored the only goal, a ringer right from the corner of the box. Just a beauty. That would be enough for the Hillers 1-0 victory. The Hillers girls soccer team followed that up with a 0-0 tie at Ashland and a 1-1 tie versus Dover Sherborne. Their 2-4-6 overall, two wins, four losses, six ties. Gives them a total of 10 points. You need 20 points to get into the postseason. The Hillers do still have eight games left on the season, so they still do have a chance to get in. Let's check out how the Hillers are doing in this fall sports season. Hillers football, they're 2-3, and three, seventh overall in the TVL. But if they win one, at least one more game, preferably two, they'll more than likely get into the postseason. As you know, the new playoff system for high school football, which was implemented just a couple years ago, starts the playoffs in week seven, and all you need is about three or four wins to get in. Boys cross country and girls cross country, well, they have just been outstanding. Six and oh, they both finished the regular season undefeated as they both took down second place Westwood. Hillers golf 15 and one, they're tied for first. They had a tremendous season. Girls volleyball 10 and two, they're in first. Field hockey is 6-4-1. They're in second place. They're likely into the postseason. Boys soccer, they're 6 at 4-6-2, and, and they still have a very good chance to get into the postseason. 